Around 1990, SNK released his beast of a system, the Neo Geo AES, and I must say, owning it for some time in my collection. And I love myself some Neo Geo and bringing the real arcade experience at home. And I must say that when you're looking at this device, absolutely crazy. Like the thing, how it looks, how everything is when it comes to the technology behind it, the absolutely crazy big games, the cartridges, but of course there are some downsides of having a Neo Geo, but also collecting for it especially. Because when it comes to Neo Geo, everything is absolutely crazy expensive. And that is something of a common problem with these devices. But don't get me wrong, nowadays we can do a lot of cool things with the Neo Geo. I just want to point out this device hasn't been modded, I would love to do that in the future with a different one. But I just want to keep it original and play some awesome arcade games. Because when you're looking at Neo Geo, it's so cool to have this in your collection. And it is like, in my opinion, the holy grail of retro gaming. <laughs> Hey hey, welcome back to the channel, it's awesome that you're tuning in. But in this video I just want to talk about the Neo Geo AES. We're going to play some games, we're doing, doing a quick tour of everything you can get for this machine. Because still, even nowadays, there are a lot of development when it comes to this retro game beast. Absolutely, like a lot of cool things you can still buy. They are even producing new games for it, and there are a lot of naughty ways to play. Okay, so at the front we're going to get the on and off switch and slider button. Then we're going to get some options over here when it comes to the audio, like with the Mega Drive we're having a jack out with a slider for the volume control. Then we're going to get two controller ports and we're going to get a memory card in. And with the memory card here we're going to get the first thing I really love. Because here we can see like they're still developing new kinds of hardware or better set improvements. So first of all, when you're getting yourself a memory card, these things are pretty damn awesome. So even Neo Geo was ahead of his time with a memory card, not the, only the PlayStation and other devices. This memory card looks amazing and for the looks I alone want to have it, but the downside to this memory card is these things will die. Yeah, so there is an internal battery what I understand of and you need to cut them open. It's going to be a lot of mumbo jumbo to get this thing to work again and in the end it will die again. So they came with a solution and that is something that I love about it nowadays with the technology. Despite the memory card doesn't look that awesome like the original one, this thing has some neat features. To begin with, we're going to get two memory banks. So yep, this is a two-in-one memory card. And how does this work? Very simple. Basically what we're going to get at the bottom is an LED and we're going to get two options for a memory bank with a switch that you need to turn left or right. So what I also noticed, this thing is slightly thicker. So let's stick it in the new GIS and let's see how it fits. Because sometimes with the aftermarket memory cards, maybe you can like ruin your system. But here you can see it slides in perfectly. It is a little bit more sturdy when you click it in and want to pull it out. But not like you will ruin your system with it. So if you want to have a memory card, this is just a great solution. Okay, so next up what we're going to get is the reset button over here for resetting your game. What you're having with your typical retro game system. But let's take a close look at the back. There is nothing really fancy. Okay, so if you modify this thing, and I wish I can pick up in the future one of those modified versions, because you're going to get a component out. But for now, we're going to use just the original connection out. And I'm gonna say the signal is just fine. And also we're going to use a different power supply. Okay, so when it comes to the cables, we're going to get different options over here. You can get yourself like these cheap AV out cables, but I wouldn't recommend it. So first of all, what we're going to get, this is the thing that came with it. It's just the original RGB cable. And I must say the signal itself, it's perfect. But the other thing I picked up recently is that we're going to get this special cable from the UK from this shop. The option to implement the stereo audio because at the front we're going to get the audio jack 3.5 and we can combine it with the din at the back and we're going to get an amazing sound. Okay, so let's talk about something else, the power supplies. I have a couple of new Geo devices and they all work on 110 volt. But there are also some solutions over here. So here we're going to get a different power supply. And take consideration, you need to be very careful which one you will buy. Simply because otherwise you will fry your Neo Geo. And why do we mean like a different version? So you have in the US and also the Japanese edition. So at the bottom we can find, for example here, model number Neo O. That basically says what kind of model it is. So there's something you need to take consideration. And why do you need a power supply? I will show you later. Okay, so let's take a close look at the controllers because there we're going to get some different options. So I basically own all kind of controllers and I just want to do a quick overview. What are your options? So first of all, we're going to get four different ways to play. They're going to be like two controllers and two freaking arcade sticks. So let's take a close look at number one. 
So it's the original controller and the original controller, I must say like I find this thing quite comfortable. It's one of my favorite ones to play. And when you're looking closely at it, you can see like this thing has kind of a curve and it makes this thing quite comfortable to play. The buttons aren't just membrane buttons. I know on eBay they sell these things with like modifications, like several joysticks and some buttons, but just want to keep it original. But the original stick, I think it's really cool and I love to play it. Okay, next up, we're going to get model number two. That is basically one that came with the Neo Geo CD. And this thing is completely like, redesigned. And I must say like the button layout is different. Also the buttons are, yeah, I'd say quite huge compared with the first model and has a very long travel. But also I played a lot with this controller because it's quite comfortable to play. I just love this Neo Geo joystick, especially the joystick. It's so responsive. Okay, the first time I hold this controller was with my buddy Neo Gunlock who had a Neo Geo AES. He introduced me to this and I was more like, whoa, this is, I was completely flabbergasted at the way how this looks. Again, like comes with a curve. It's super comfortable, all the round shapes and this tiny micro switch joystick. It's such a cool thing to have. And when you're playing it, it's absolutely like a completely different mind blowing experience. And yeah, I'm a big fighting fan. I'm always struggling with finding a good D-pad, but this tiny clicky joystick is awesome. Okay, so some time ago I got this special controller from the shop I picked up from AliExpress. And I was saying like, if you just want to have your typical controller, it's an option to play. But I'm just going to be honest, this thing is freaking awful. Like it's nothing like the original Neo Geo controllers. It's a Sega Saturn fight pad, but maybe I need to open it up and fix it because the D-pad wasn't even responsive. All right, so let's boot it up and let's take a close look at some games. Alright, so let's take a close look at the game itself, because this is just a very unique experience too. So I have never seen something like this before. Like the first time I hold it in my hand, I was more like, oh man, what is this? Because basically a part of the system is inside of the game itself. Yeah, so this gigantic piece of a card, which will also do a side-by-side -side comparison with some games, it even contains two freaking PCBs. Like how freaking mind-blowing is that? So far I have all the original games with the manual and... Yeah, you know, like as a collector, I want to have the manual and the reason why is just, just I just want to open it up and just scroll through the manual. Look at this, like how amazing this art is. Back in the days, back in the 90s, where they made manuals to explain the game to people. Yep. I love it, man. I love it. But there was something else I wanted to show you and that's a little bit of a bummer. It's like the plastic that holds the cartridges will crack it eventually. Like there's all with a couple of these games, but I know there are some spare parts going on the internet, so that's pretty damn awesome. But let's take a close look at the size comparison. So this was just a quick look to give you an idea how big this cartridge is. And you can see it is enormous compared with some of these cartridges like the Sega, the Super Famicom or the N64. Okay, so I'm a little bit late to the party and the problem with Neo Geo AES is like I told you before, these games are like freaking expensive. Like they start from around the price from 60 up to 90 euros for some of those games. But also they were going to make new games and there are some, some nutty ways to play. Okay, so the games are like absolutely cool to see and they're like enormous, all of them. They have like two kinds of boxes at the moment. But in the end, I just find a couple of games to collect and not pay a lot of money because yeah, they're like very expensive. And I think there was like a couple of them are like between what I already mentioned, like between let's say the 50 and the 100 euro, in my opinion, affordable to play. So when it comes to AES, if you're going to be, have this budget, you're going to be like quickly done with collecting. Great example is Sunrise Spirits. I love this game. I'm a big fan of it and one of the most affordable ones. So that is what you're going to get with Neo Geo AES. So let's grab another game. Okay, another affordable game is this one. And I must say like, I was very excited to see. It comes with a protection box. Personally, it's very cool to protect your games, but on the other hand, like, I freaking hate these things. If I just want to open it up and gap the game, I need to like fight with this piece of plastic. Again, I hate it. Okay, so another way is a naughty way to play. We're going to get like AES multi-game cards. I can remember like a couple of years ago, they didn't even have these things. You need to have to use MPS multi-card with a converter. There was a lot of mumbo jumbo, but now we have like a game, you can just plug it in. And that is like freaking awesome if you ask me. So you have like a lot of games inside one cartridge. It's still like fun to collect the original game, but some are like so expensive. It's absolutely not possible to get them. Okay, so what you need to do 
is also get yourself a power supply. It was seldom in a kit. And this is what I mentioned like in the beginning of this video, we need to have a different power supply for especially this cartridge. All right, so another thing I really love is Xeno Crisis. They ported this to the Neo G, MPS and AES. Come on, man, how cool is it? You can buy new freaking games for the Neo Geo, but don't get me wrong, like these things are also quite expensive. And yeah, I wanted to have Xeno Crisis for my AES because I think this is just an amazing game to play. If you want to play it on your Dreamcast, your Mega Drive, you can basically play, I think you can just buy it on your PC Steam, but I think it's all like so fun to have it. It's like a novelty. And the quality of it, it's absolutely cool. It even comes with a sticker, which number up, I think. So let's take a close look at the manual. I just want to do this quick unboxing for you guys. And if you want, I can make a separate video about Xeno Crisis for the Neo Geo. But here you can see, like they did a lot of effort of making a great manual. Like how cool is this? All the information about the game, about the save and load feature, and how to play instructions. Everything is in English, but I think it's just so, so cool. That's really cool. And even like the layouts of all the different controllers that you can play with. All right, guys, so let's take a close look at some gameplay. I'm going to start off with playing on an LCD TV because I think it's not a big of an issue. Some people will hate it, but I'm doing it. But I'm going to say that it's a lot of fun to play. And even on an LCD, it looks amazing. <laughs> Okay, so a couple of weeks ago when I'm making this video, I picked up Fatal Fury 2 for the AES. So let's try it out because I didn't do it before. Okay, so let's test out a different game and again on the LCD and this game I also picked it up and combined with Fatal Fury 2 and I did it the right before so that's something I just wanted to do. So yeah, let's record it and let's play some. Oh, I completely messed up with this game. I put it on normal. I completely forgot how like, oh man, how awful some of the new Geo games are when it comes to difficulty and the CPUs. <laughs> So let's go into the full retro mode. Let's try out Xeno Crisis, brand new released from the Bitmap Bureau for the AES. Freaking awesome. And we're going to play it old school style. And we're also going to try it out with the Neo Geo CD controller. A lot of the games are financially out of my reach. So if you want to play, the only way is a naughty way. There are flash cards, but those are like super expensive too. So the multi-game card is a great way to play, but it is not perfect. I made a full review about it and it did have a lot of errors inside. And despite it's also like an incomplete collection, we still have a lot of cool games to play that are quite expensive. And again, like the multi-game card is an easy way if you don't want to swap every single time in your original games and you just want to put them in your collection. And again, the multi-game cards are not very cheap too. Also, this is super expensive. Okay. 
So the Neo Geo AES is an awesome piece of technology to collect nowadays. But again, you need to have like a huge budget because a lot of stuff is very expensive. But yeah, it's expensive. That is a fact. But there are so many cool things coming out even now. Like looking at the Xeno Crisis, we have like new multi-game cards, new memory cards. A lot of great ways to play with the Neo Geo AES. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. Hit that little bell. Become one of the Wicked family. And it would be great to see you in the next video.